us that you would help us for five dollars. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. <laughs> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means... I know you're skeptical, but please, just trust me. I ain't falling for that shit, little girl. If it was up to me, you'd be dead already. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. hurts and it's only gonna get worse a dog you say do you think it could have had rabies out here who knows right now that's the least of your concerns don't look to me girl I want nothing to do with you <sighs> so what do you think was it a lurker a bite like that could be anything only one way to find out how we wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. If we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. Turns out you're telling the truth. I'll clean it, stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's alright. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time, you'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shit. Maybe you could let me go? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. <sighs> I can't believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine.
Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. He's got to have stuff for stitches. House meeting in five minutes. That, 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 it won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Oh, fine. Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of it.
no way. She could be. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here. She says she's out here. Yeah, right. Whoever she is, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. If they show up and we've got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No. I'm just saying we didn't look for her. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else would be the same. You really think Carver would come after us? You think he wouldn't? He's not exactly the type of person. There's nothing we can do about it. I really don't give a Yeah, I don't. You knew she was What were we supposed to do? Run, leave her out there to die? Better her than us. We'd have done the same thing. It wasn't the brightest thing. Where are you going, huh? I want to get my sweater. We'll be done in a minute. Dog? Yeah, yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but look, for whatever reason, this is going to be good. No point in arguing about it. He is dead, it's not going to hurt anyone. So just see what's what for more. But Carlos said she could die if she doesn't get her arm treated. Assuming she doesn't turn. That's me, but he hasn't really done it. If you're in trust in his life, you can help that. You could definitely get a whole lot worse for her. Don't we have penicillin? Or something that could, you know, stop the infection from spreading? We have tons. What if one of us needs it? Look, I'm just saying we can help it, that's all. We need to think of ourselves. Then what happens? We apologize for being assholes, and then we help fix she her She can't arm. stay with us. She barely had enough supplies to offer. We've got more space in the box than we can ever wait. She's seen us. She knows we're here. What? Are you scared of a little girl? A little girl is not the problem. It's who she might be. Yeah, she's going to be coming. I gotta take a leap. Hold on. We're almost done. If a little girl can find her way here, then almost anyone can. We find her help with that. It's more than we can do. That seems like it's not a safe place. It's not like any time. So it's time to move on. We can't get to the end. At some point, we've got to go down. We should, and we will. But can we find somewhere safe? I don't know. Hmm. Time to move on, and I got no problem with that. Yeah, but where do we go from here? No more cities. We all agreed on that, right? Too many damn virgins. We're not going back the way we came. That's for damn sure. We can probably find somewhere better. We just need to look. Wherever we go, we can't get too attached. We'll be fine, as long as we keep things fluid. What do we 
do with the girl? You're not leaving her here with me. We can't just keep her locked in the shed. We're not animals. Then take her with you. What? You want to keep an eye on her? Then take her with you. Are we almost done here? I want to make sure Sarah's ready for bed. Wait a second. There's something else I want to talk about. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. I'm fine. Fuck no. Help me. I won't tell him. I. I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca's okay, but she's older. And that's it. Yes. We are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Do you promise or not? I promise. Me too. Friends.
this is gonna suck. Fun part. And now, just like last time, just how Krista showed me. What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. I never was. 
And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a bait. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. She knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. It's ugly. No, it ain't that bad. And it's better than a stump. Yeah, better than a stump. Hey, look, I just want to say I'm sorry for, you know, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway... Hopefully you understand. Bad things have happened to everyone. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. 
I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. I was too young and too stupid to do anything right. He died because of me. Sorry. Yeah. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. Don't talk to me like that. Oh, what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her. What's her problem? Yeah, well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. 
came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Cause you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Let's just get to the river. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. This one's shot, too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. What was it, then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Shouldn't we go get the others? Wish we could. But one of these folks might still be alive, and they just might be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were.
what happened to you. <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Burgers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way. Bitch. Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you. We gotta get out of here. Get over here, god damn it! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I've got ammo. gonna do someone's outside someone came here looking for you a man what did he say what his name was we know damn well who it was who is he one of the guys we were with before what's he gonna do Can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. 